This is step three of the four-step process that allows you to take uh, student-written book reviews and turn them into uh, blog entries. In step three, we're going to talk about probably the most important step in the entire process, which is how we take the information the students have submitted in a form and connect that to uh, the blog. We're going to use a tool that is free and gets added on to your Google spreadsheet. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you what that spreadsheet looks like. If you navigate to your Google Docs or Google Drive, you should find a Google spreadsheet that has the same name as your form, and it should be it should end with the word responses in parentheses. This is the now empty uh, spreadsheet in which all of the entries to your form will arrive. This is where you will go to uh, export if you need to, to grade if you need to, to sort all the different entries so that you can give out prizes for the most pages or the highest rating. Basically, it's where you behind the scenes will see all of the information captured by the forms. But a select amount of this information, which will not include identifying student information, uh, it will not include data that you collected just for your own use, some of this information will be sent to the blog as a blog entry. And what this add-on is going to do is change the uh, contents of some of these cells into an email message that gets sent to WordPress.com to that secret email address. So let's walk ourselves through that process. When you're in that uh, responses spreadsheet, you can um, look at the example I have here and you'll see a, a menu item that says add-ons. Uh, the menu item add-ons will be the form mule add-on because you copied your uh, form from my template you also get my responses if for some reason it's not there you can just go to get add-ons and search for form mule form mule is essentially just a tool that allows you to take data from a spreadsheet and send it as an email under the form mule you'll want to choose uh, setup and the first option there the first question that form mule is going to ask us is where is the data that we want to use? And you'll choose your form responses one um, sheet. Then you have to click on the button that says form trigger and you want it to send on form submit. So every time somebody submits a form, we want to send the data through an email. And that's all that we have to do on this particular page. Next, we click on the button that says templates and uh, we need to uh, review that one template that you have. Now, if you don't have a template here because you're setting this up for the first time, you can uh, follow my example here to set up your template. So after you save template settings, you have the ability to edit templates. And when you do that, you're basically given an example of what the email messages are going to look like. In the to box, we need to paste that secret email address that we got from our WordPress blog when we enabled post by email. In the subject line, I recommend the novel title with those little uh, caret or greater than less than marks um, because that's how we mark the items that come from the, um, the form. You can also click on the button in the merge tags column on the right to get that information. If you uh, look through this uh, format, you'll see lots of information that's formatted the way I wanted it to be. My partner and I wanted to make sure that we had the name of the book, the length of the book, who was doing the review, just the first name of the student. And we wanted all that to be in the body of the email so that it would be in the um, blog post. We left off the last name of the student, the class period. Under status here, you can see that published is written there. By doing that, we make sure that every email that gets sent automatically gets published as a blog entry. Uh, when you first get started, you may want to change that. Um, you can actually put um, the word draft there and the uh, blog entries will be saved in WordPress but will be set as a draft where you will have to uh, review them all and publish them. This is a good way to catch any mistakes uh, or if you're concerned that people who are not authorized are accessing your form online, you can catch all that uh, vandalism, if you will, this way. Any um, marks that you see in the um, in the body text there that are surrounded by brackets are the format that um, WordPress's post by email requires, and so that language is very specific. Um, we wanted the category of the blog post to include the genre and the rating, and so that's how we set that up. Uh, status works the same way, but other than that, 
the blog post is going to get its information automatically from the subject of the email and from the uh, the body information basically the entire body becomes the body of the blog post so once we've reviewed all that we click on the preview button and it shows us what the email message is going to look like now again this is not showing us immediately what the blog is going to look like because some of the information in brackets will not make it to the blog but it is showing us how that's going to look and this is a good check uh, when you have this all set you want to uh, preview and send all at this point there won't be anything to send to the blog uh, but it means that from this point on all future form submissions will be sent to WordPress as blog entries once you have this all set up that brings us to uh, step four step four is going where we're going to uh, embed the form that we created the one you got from my template back into the blog as a separate page so that students will have one site to go to to enter their book reviews and read their blog posts stay tuned for step four